All right, hey guys, so today in front of me we have another two boxes of 2021 Upper Deck Series 2 Hobby. So I can't exactly remember the prices for these. Some I got on release day for 175, some were pre-ordered for about 145, 150. So the price ranges definitely vary depending on when you pre-order and when you buy them. But uh, I've already made one video on this, so we'll just jump right into it. If you want more details, you can check that one out. So yeah, we'll just uh, start with the first one. I decided to combine two into this video. I'm not sure how many I actually want to open, but um, figured that we may as well put two in this one just to save some time and so you guys don't see the same repetitive video all the time. But that does mean this will be a longer one as we've got 48 packs today, hoping for some good young guns, maybe uh, another POE, a Legends canvas, maybe even a patch, who knows? There's a lot of great stuff in here. I'll show the odds again. And that's why I really love the hobby products as there's just so much potential to get kind of bigger hits and more rare hits as well. So let's get into it. Another 24 packs. And it, due to the nature of time, I'm not going to say all the base cards. Uh, I do like to do that, and especially since the set is kind of new. But it's a lot of packs today, so we'll just kind of get to the main event in each pack. So the first pack will be a Philip Grubauer UD Canvas. Awesome looking card there. I do collect the Canvas sets. If you watch the channel, you'll know that. And I also PC Grubauer, so that's a double whammy for me. And uh, just to recap the base cards, if you haven't seen the design before, which I'm sure you have, just kind of a plain Jane looking card. And it looks like we've got a Young Guns in here, and it's going to be Ilya Sorokin. So I've already got his, unfortunately, but he is a good uh, good player. He's a great goalie for the New York Islanders. As I said earlier in my other video, kind of a spoiler alert, but he does share time with Semyon Varlamov, and he's been playing really well. I believe he came over from the KHL, so that's a good pull there. But it is a double. Decided to just uh, remove the background as it was causing a little bit of focus issues so hopefully it gets a little better here next up it looks like we've got a canvas of david riddick so very nice canvas card so far a couple of goalies there and also a nice anton hudobin card for my pc The only thing I am hoping is that the young guns don't always go together like with the same players. But again, I cannot confirm or deny if they've changed that over the years. As I know before, when you pulled a certain player, you kind of knew who you were getting in the box. Anyways, the next card is going to be Gage Quinney. So apparently not, as my other box with Sorokin did not have Gage Quinney. So there's Gage Quinney on the Vegas Golden Knights. Don't have that one yet. Also be careful for the French parallels, they kind of sneak up on you. Missed one in my first box. And what do we have here? Wow, what is this? This is a pretty uh, pretty insane card. I didn't know that these were in here. So there's an MVP prospects, kind of like a die cut of Philip Roberg. So a pretty good name and it's number 14 of 20. So, uh, 2021 MVP hockey. I'm not sure if this is like an update or what this is. I know it's the colors and contour set, a prospects card. So 14 of 20. Awesome looking card there. Let me just check the odds on that. Yeah, so I'm checking the odds here. I don't see anything MVP on here. So it might just be an unannounced insert, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, here's another look at the card. Very nice looking card. And it is a good name. So that's an awesome hit. So this box is turning out to be uh, pretty good so far. Continuing on, it's very low numbered as well. 
but I'm not too familiar with MVP, so can't comment too much on that. Next pack up, we do have a blue marquee rookies of Ty Delandria. So I believe the blues are 1 in 30. So just a, basically a parallel of the rookie, Ty Delandria blue. Hey, I'd rather have a blue than a regular. I know the reds are a lot rarer. They're about 1 in, 50, uh, 1 in 150, I believe. Last pack here of the first stack. And we have a UD Portraits Rookies of Mikel Verdin, or Burden from the Jets, goalie for the Jets. So he had a young gun in Series 1. Next up, it looks like another Portraits here, this time Maxime Latunov, so another rookie. Next pack up, we've got another Mikel Burdin, this time just his regular OPG marquee rookie. I don't mind the design of those, but again, as I've said in other videos, I'm not an OPG set collector. Set's kind of too large and don't really care for it. So uh, I'd prefer anything else basically in these, but I will hunt down uh, the guys that I collect in here. So looks like we do have a Dazzlers. Uh, yep, and it looks like a blue Dazzlers. But first there's a William Nylander canvas and the Dazzlers is gonna be of Dominique Kubelik. So second year player, Dominique Kubelik. It's pretty solid. Again, blue Dazzlers usually are one per box and the pink Dazzlers are a lot more rare, one in 144 packs. Been pretty lucky with the pink Dazzlers this year so far. And another OPG, oh wow, look at that. Marquee rookies of Alexi Lafreniere. So, Seems to be following me around, which is pretty good. So there's a marquee rookie of uh, one of the bigger names. He's not kind of performing as uh, he was expected to, but I think he's putting up, uh, slowly putting up some points and it's only his first year. Kind of similar things happen, for example, with Jack Hughes, who uh, had a slow 21 point rookie season and then he ended up kind of turning it on this year and is playing a lot better as he grows and matures. So I think the same thing might happen with Alexi. Uh, moving on, uh, this time we have a Steven Lorenz Marky Rookie Retro. It's going to make sure there's no French here, but... So there's a Steven Lorenz Marky Rookie Retro. Never heard of him, but the design is nice. And I believe we only have the one, or the two young guns, so we're still looking for another four of those. I think we have one in here. Who will it be? I don't know the pictures at all. So Alexander Barabanov, so another dupe for me. Alexander Barabanov, the Leafs. I believe he was already traded by the Leafs, but I haven't been paying too much attention to him. So maybe he and Sorokin go together, but I'm not sure. All right, moving on. Looks like another OPG marquee rookie. Nope, it's an award winners of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Stanley Cup, obviously. So that's a pretty cool card there of the boys celebrating with the Stanley Cup. After many years of kind of uh, getting close and having really stacked teams, they finally were able to get it done. So it's good to see them win that cup there. And I do think that they were the much better team over Dallas in the finals. All right, moving along, hoping for a, a really good young gun. We're still waiting on kind of the bigger names. Looks like we've got another one in here. Oh, wow, we've got another program of excellence. This time, John Tavares. So we're killing it with these. Wow, um, rest are just base. So again, these are one in 192 packs, program of excellence. There's 15 of them in the set, in the checklist. I do wanna kind of collect them all eventually for all the years, but it's a very slow work in progress. 
But there's John Tavares. So this is new this year. They've added some kind of current players and uh, up to go along with the rookies. Normally they're just rookies. So the Tavares is kind of a current player added for the set. I think it's just a way to make the checklist longer, but collectors like myself want to add those to our sets as well. I think we're still waiting on three more young guns, I want to say. Uh, here we have a marquee rookies of Alex Belzile. Cool shot of Yarrow Halak there. So Montreal Canadiens player. He's kind of buried in Laval and he's an older guy, so I don't think he's going to see much time in the NHL, unfortunately. Jake Evans is the more kind of uh, the guy that has more potential for the Habs right now. And what do we have in here? Uh, oh, we have something hiding here. We have a Leon Dreisaitl OPG award winners. That's the retro. He won the Art Ross in 1920 with 110 points. Leon Dreisaitl. Pretty solid card there. Anything Dreisaitl and McDavid kind of go for quite a bit. All right, next up, looks like we've got another young gun in here. And it is going to be Joel Kelman. Joel Kelman. Cool shot of Smith. Love the goalie shots. But back to the young gun here. Joel Kelman on the Sharks. So I do need that one, but I've never heard of him. Swedish guy. Did actually did play some time in the Sharks system last year. 31 games and 7 points. Joel Kelman. Coming down to the wire here. Been a pretty solid box so far. Uh, the young guns have been kind of meh, but the uh, program of excellence is always awesome to get. So, continuing on, looks like we've got a UD portraits of Jansen Harkins. That would be a rookies one again. And we've got our final stack of five packs, it looks like. I think we're waiting on one more young gun kind of loose count but these boxes are really fun to open and it does look like we've got one in here and it's going to be david cassie or kasha not sure how you pronounce his name so again another dupe so kind of looks like maybe he goes with barabanov and sorokin so that's another dupe not good for the set collector that i am but they will probably find someone else. Next pack up. And what do we have in here? Oh, look at that. We have a clear cut young gun. So another sick box. These are a pretty tough pull. I think they're one in 288. So I think these are a case. Yeah, these are a case hit. Definitely these are a case hit. So Philippe Maillet, uh, kind of a odd picture there just of his kind of bare face, but I can't complain with the clear cut young guns. And he's on the Capitals. I know nothing about him, um, but very cool to pull a clear cut young guns. So I'm very happy with that. That's added on top of your regular young guns, I believe. So uh, again, I don't know if he's a good name at all, but I uh, can't complain with the clear cut. Continuing on with the break here, we've got a marquee rookies of Gilles Sen. Never heard of this guy either. A lot of different new rookies that Upper Deck's throwing at us. Last two packs. Trying not to ruin the cards there. Didn't do a good job with that one. And we've got a UD Portraits Rookies of Gustav Lindstrom for the Red Wings. Oh, and we do have a French variation here, so you can see in the bottom right corner, Varian Francais of Dominique Kubelik, and the whole back is written in French. So those are one in 30, kind of a new little twist. I actually, I did have a French set, a full French set in 2010-11, but I don't think it was that popular and they took it out after that. I think it was just series one. Anyways, last pack. We do have our last Young Guns in here. So who will it be? Let's find out. And it is going to be Braden Burke. So I don't have that one either, Braden Burke. Again, I don't know too much about him, but I will take it for the set. Number 499, Braden Burke. 
All right, so I think box one was a pretty relative success. Now we can crack open into box two. Another fresh hobby box here of 24 packs. All right, so let's get into this box. So far we've done well with the kind of rarer inserts. Uh, these boxes are not all from the same case by the way, so could be getting kind of a mixed bag of things, but I kind of prefer it that way. And we start off with an Adam Fox UD canvas. I don't think there's ever anything after the middle card unless there's two hits together. So there's an Adam Fox UD canvas. Guess we're going from the right stack this time. Looks like we have our first Young Guns. And, it, oh, beautiful. Beautiful, guys, there it is. There it is, Kirill Kaprizov. That's the one you're looking for. That's the best one in the series, I believe. Uh, I know his pre-orders were going for about $400. Not sure what he's going for now. That'll be put in a one-touch after. Kirill Kaprizov, there it is, number 451. He is also leading rookie scorers right now. He's almost a point of game player. I know he's a little bit older since he played in the KHL, I believe. I think his stats are at the back here. Yeah. As you can see, he was a point of game player there too. But there it is. Glad to have pulled this one. Makes it a lot, little more special for the collection. Kirill Kaprizov. Very happy with that. So this box is already a success. That's a pretty massive card. Um, I think the, only, the other massive card would be Tim Stutzle. So... Hopefully at some point we can pull him as well, but uh, whatever we get for the rest of this box, I'm pretty happy with, honestly. Uh, let's get to it. It looks like we have another one of these MVP prospects. So, I mean, I don't, I still don't know what these are. Um, this one is not such a good name. Artem Zagadulin, Zagadulin the Flames goaltender. And this one is uh, numbered at a 250. So again, I think they're colors and contours. Um, they must be unannounced and they, I guess, must be not that rare, but uh, the Broberg was at a 20, so that was a nice one. Zagadulin, I don't know how much uh, potential he's got, and he's definitely behind Riddick and Markstrom in the flame system. Moving along, we've got an award winners, and this time it's blue, of Bobby Ryan. Interesting that he's on the Sens, Bill Masterson trophy. Uh, and it was a 2020, but, he uh, was he on the Sens in 2020? I guess he was. I keep thinking that he's on Detroit, which he is now. So that's just a plain OP tree insert. Moving on. We got our portraits rookies of Ty Delandria. Last well, pack of the first stack. Packs actually open pretty good this time around. I think Series 1 was a little tougher. Looks like we've got a young gun in here. Oh, nice. Kevin Lankinen. That's a good one, too. Another great box. Kevin Lankinen is... Uh, I would say he's one of the front runners for the Calder, along with Kaprizov, as he's just killing it with the Blackhawks. He's totally taken the starting job, and uh, he's playing very well on a team that's kind of a little bit rebuilding. So, <laughs> two for two on the young guns. Very pleased so far with this box. Can it get better? That's the only question. And we've got an Alex Kalorn UD canvas. One thing I actually do like about the canvas, I know I've mentioned it before, but the back picture is different than the front. So they actually work hard on these cards uh, to make them a little bit different. Whereas the base cards carry the same photo on both sides.
Next pack up, we have a Michael McNevin uh, OPG. Yeah, that was just a base. Okay, got a little confused there, but just a Michael McNevin, McNevin uh, Habs goalie OPG. I believe he's playing for Laval. Yep, he did get some time in Laval there. So uh, I'm not sure how far down he is in the system, but with Jake Allen and Carey Price, again, he's probably uh, kind of a stretch to play anytime soon. But it's just a marquee rookie. I don't think he's got a Young Guns. Next pack up, we have a marquee rookies retro of Chase Prisky, Florida Panthers. So I know nothing about him at all. Chase Prisky and base. Moving on, uh, in this pack, it looks like another Young Guns, Brian Pino. Pino, I don't know him. Um, so Brian Pino, I don't have that one, so we'll take it for the set. But I don't think he's a very big name, as we probably would have heard of him playing in the NHL by now. Moving along, uh, we have another Chase Prisky card. This time is UD Portraits with the exact same photo, so that's kind of funny. Chase Prisky. And last pack of the second stack. So again, uh, this box is a success. If you're just uh, watching, I don't know how it can get much better, but hopefully it does. Let's see what else we can pull. All right, we've got an award winners of Roman Yossi. He, of course, won the Norris last year. Great defenseman for the Nashville Predators. It's always interesting to see that the defensemen just don't carry the same value as forwards. I mean, Yossi is now a Norris winner, and his Young Guns is only going for about $30 to $40. So, interesting to see that. And we do have another Young Guns. This time it's Alexander Yellison, uh, Calgary Flames, number 488. He's a 1996 from Russia. So, Alexander Yellison. I think that's four Young Guns now. Got to watch out for the variants, our French variations. So I think that's four Young Guns, but should be expecting two more. All right, looks like we might have a Portraits. Yep, and we do have a Lucas Carlson Rookie Portraits. Nothing crazy on the Rookie Portraits, just another one to add to the pile. I don't collect those, but they are a nice set. Uh, some of the other year's designs I thought were brutal, so this one, it's really growing on me. I really like it. All right, next pack up. We have a Marky Rookie of Vitaly Kraftsoff. That's actually pretty solid. Um, I believe he's coming over to the NHL now from the K, uh, now that their season is wrapped up. I believe, I believe. I'm not positive on that, but we might see him for the Rangers soon. He's another highly touted player, just uh, he's not kind of getting the recognition right now since he's not playing in the NHL. So that kind of makes all the difference for hockey cards. That pack was extra tight. Looks like we've got another Dazzlers in here and it's going to be Brock Besser. So, oh sweet. And we have a UD Canvas Young Guns, awesome. Another killer box guys, Igor Sharangovich. So he's actually playing for the Devils and playing pretty well. He has around 15 points uh, right now as of when I'm recording this video. So that's a nice one there. My first Young Guns canvas of the Series 2. So I'll take that gladly. And we have a Blue Dazzlers of Brock Besser. Awesome looking card. Really sweet card there. Um, number 96. But there's just too many cards to collect. So I have to forego the Dazzlers. But I do think they are one of my most favorite insert sets that UD has ever done in this set. So very nice. Moving on, so the box is getting better. Just awesome. Um, this time we have a Pavel Francouz Marky Rookie. So there's a PC card. Keep it rolling, guys. Pavel Francouz Marky Rookies. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that he's not playing at all this year. He's been in the IR the entire time. But uh, hopefully next year we can see him. Or maybe, I don't know, later on in the year. He did have a very good rookie season, so... 
Should be a pretty good NHLer, but he is older. I think he's like 30. Next up, we have another Artem Zagadulin. Uh, just a marquee rookie OPG retro. Nothing special. And now we have the last stack. Can't remember how many young guns we're at. I think, I think we're still at four because the canvas doesn't count towards your six. So that would be a bonus seventh. So both of these boxes have had a bonus seventh. Uh, what's in here? Alex, I follow canvas. Plain canvas card there. All right, next up, Brandon Hagel, Young Guns for the Chicago Blackhawks. So Hagel's actually playing this year as well. Uh, again, I, I kind of haven't been following him. I'm not sure how good he is, but he's definitely been playing on the lineup. So Oh, nice. <laughs> this box is just insane. So we've got a Rookie Materials jersey of Nick Robertson. So uh, Leaf cards always sell pretty well, and uh, Nick Robertson's supposed to be a good player. He's been hurt this year as well. So we got a nice uh, blue swatch there of Nick Robertson, Rookie Materials. So that's awesome. I'll gladly take that. So this box has just been insane, guys. It's been awesome. At all, like Everything we've pulled has been awesome in this box, even the first one too. Uh, continuing on here... We've got a marquee rookies of Connor McMichael, so that's also another good player. Just a base marquee rookie, but still, it's a good card. And last two packs for the icing on the cake in this beautiful box break. And we've got another Brandon Hagel, this time is UD Portraits. And there's our French variant, so I didn't miss it, two for two. We have Oscar Lindblom, Varian Francais. And the last pack of today's break. And it's our final Young Guns. And it's going to be Jalen Chatfield. So that's a double for me. Don't know too much about him. Jalen Chatfield. And base. All right, guys, so if you're still watching, here's a big recap of everything from these two boxes. So kind of this half and onwards was the first box. Uh, pretty good box here. We had the program of excellence of JT. Uh, Sorokin was our best young guns, but we did hit the clear cut. So that was the case hit there. And we also hit this sick Broberg uh, colors and contours blue green out of 20. So, oh, and I forgot about the Laffy uh, marquee rookie. So that was a great box. And then the second box might have outdone it as we hit the... Uh, Kirill Kaprizov, which is, I checked, about a $350 card right now. Uh, Kevin Lankinen, which is a good rookie there. Uh, and then the rookie materials of Robertson and the Young Guns Canvas as well. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe for all your hockey card content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.